friends, this is going to be a quick one today, but the the good news for most people is that the um, Bruiser series will actually be back. I started playing Firestaff Rapier, but in the end I actually started um, missing the, you know, just hitting people with an axe and stuff, so I kind of went back to it. So I will be sticking to that, but I do think something needs to change because um i just am I, I need to be able to kite a little bit because like i said i'm so the one of the reasons i went to fire stuff rapier was that i needed that kind of ability and that mobility because often i'm fighting people that uh outnumber me or you know i'm not usually with a group so i need to be kind of quick get in do some kills and then get out so i changed over to light armor and i've been giving that a try this week so this is the start of the week where i switched over to this is a little jewel that i had where i switched over to um great x warhammer which is what i've been using a medium armor but i went light armor and i think that there's a good reason to it this patch too because you know you've had the nerf with the constitution and so i just kind of feel like why wouldn't you go light armor right the other thing too is i found that when i was playing like a bow or fire stuff i kind of lacked that that burst potential to kill people i'm sure people with better aim were better at me and i know that the rapier has a lot of burst potential but i guess i mean i guess i've just gotten used to playing the great axe and warhammer and so i kind of knew what to do in every situation and i've spent a lot of effort getting there so i didn't kind of want to give that up but i also just i love the burst potential of the melee classes so i think a kaiti light armor melee class is definitely the way to go so still brawler but just light armor and i'm still really really bullish on new world i think it's an awesome game i think it's got a lot of potential but one of the things i've realized which um actually i was watching a streamer called christopher um, I'll, I'll put his link in the description if you haven't subscribed to him you should he's one of the best out there but he was just saying how we ha, how you know there's just so much content and I and I kind of realized that I haven't been actually playing all the content in New World um, so I haven't really been doing arenas as much um, I sort of focused on jewelers and OPRs but I haven't been doing wars but the other thing too is I haven't just been going out into the open world and getting lots of fights and I just think so I think once I started doing that, it added like a whole new fresh perspective because there's actually a lot of PvP to be had in New World um, and I just kind of fall into this rut of just doing OPR over and over. So then I went out into open world um, to try to find some nice open world fights and yeah, and this was kind of me on one of the first times. Um, me and my friend Leos were a little duo so we went hunting down. <laughs> people that were trying to do stuff so but but bullies yeah a little bit of a 2v1s going on but it was still just kind of a lot of fun to be out in the open world trying to find some um fights but then i realized like if this is a lot of stuff if i want to be mobile and i want to have kiting potential and i want to be melee you know maybe i'm better off switching to great axe hatchet which is what i did and it was actually a, definitely a good choice because I think the hatchet adds obviously a lot of burst as I'm sure everyone knows. But the other thing I really liked about the hatchet is it just adds a new dimension to being able to get yourself out of trouble when you get into it. Especially in OPR with Berserk and Death's Door you're able to really just get yourself out of some tough situations. Sometimes you can feel a bit mean picking on one person especially when there's two of you. But hey that is kind of the beauty of open world. It was just fun to be out and about hunting people down uh we were kind of thinking when we were doing this that they'd eventually get their group to come and fight us never actually happened but we we had a little 2v2 here um where my teammate ends up getting um killed at the same time as we killed one of theirs he was sort of having a tough time though because to be fair um we were trying to focus on this bow person whilst he was also getting attacked by the other person but anyway we end up killing the bow person at the same time as he dies and then it just becomes a 1v1 the 1v1 kind of lasts forever so i'm just gonna um skip towards the end where i come through as victorious Anyway, Hatchet was a hell of a lot of fun. So starting from now, I'll start doing the Learn to Play Bruiser series again. But just expect to see, it's not going to be just primarily focused on jewels, although I'm definitely going to be doing that a lot. Um, it's going to be trying to make use of all the new world PvP content, especially open world stuff. Um, and also wanted to get into arenas because they're all kind of fun. 
And also I'm just going to try to branch out a little bit in terms of strength weapons, although I'll be sticking to that kind of brawler bruiser playstyle. You know, I might try, I'm trying to hatch it and great axe i'm definitely going to be using great axe and warhammer as well but also maybe try and apply, try the blunderbuss the sword and shield just sort of you know trying trying all the strength weapons but keeping that bruiser kind of play style anyway thanks for sticking by all the changes and uh i'll see you soon